Okay, welcome back. So I just basically did a lot of talking, talking about uh, what I'm going to do, and I'm not, uh, I'm not abandoning finishing John Lemon tutorial, and I'm not, um, I'm not going to be stopping um, working on the 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 uh, Blender Wiki book. Where is that, by the way? Where is Noob? Where is it at? Where? What happened? Oh, that's because it's an art. I haven't organized these other ones. Noob Pro. And actually, um, we'll be actually in the smooth meshes. We'll actually be going with the whole thing about the materials and textures. So, um, that'll be kind of interesting. I, I don't really know how to mess with um, textures or materials that much. And uh, it's going to be quite a bit different, I think, in 2.8 because um, I think... Um, I think... Uh, they do a lot of the, the, the node stuff now with the with the with the materials and the textures and all that. But uh, should be able to look at something here. Hopefully. Texture. Hmm. Bones. Wait a second. Table of contents. I'm not going to go into bones just yet. Materials. Oh, beyond basics, I see. So, 2C would be the last thing as far as the unit or whatever. Beyond basics, model goblet, simple vehicle, carbon path modeling. Quite a few things in here. It'd be quite a bit that it'll take quite a bit of time to learn everything. Um, we'll see though. Okay, so it's not like I'm not gonna ever go back to that because I am going to to actually go back to. I'm going to be doing both. I'll, I'll be juggling between two of them. So, like, I'll be doing, like, this or something for the next deals. And, um, really, I want to get started on the game. And, specifically, I, I decided that I wanted to get started on the throne room sequence or, or um, scene um, in my game. Because in my game, this is kind of the... This is the thing that gets the whole ball rolling here. Um... And actually, you'll you'll be playing halfway, which is my wizard, halfway Henry now. He was originally called Harold, maybe because of Harry Potter, I don't know. I've never read the, the books, of Harry Potter books, but I watched the movies, and, and um, it seems like the genesis of my my thing here kind of um, kind of came around at the same time. You know, you know how you have, like, sometimes you have ideas... And you have to kind of think they're original, and then you realize, no, just because you've been watching this and the other thing, and it's kind of like that. That's that's the way it was, and I really wasn't thinking of Harry Potter when I thought of Harold, um, because I was thinking of two H names, and Harold was more in my mind than than Henry or some other H name, uh, which is probably due to Harry Potter, I suppose. But so. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, um, the actually when it first starts out, you you'll be with halfway as he explores Enchanted Lands and finds out everything is kind of messed up, and and then he'll get a call. In fact, I might use that as sort of like a tutorial kind of um, thing that shows you how to play. So there will be no like real real objectives in that early opening deal. It will just be. Um, uh, it might be the thing that has to do with locations, uh, although with the locations, um, they'll open up pretty early, so I don't know if that's like, that's not like going to be a, like a feature of the game exactly. 
Um, you know, in uh, King's Quest VI, if you played that, uh, you basically um, you basically uh, wake up. Uh, prince, the prince wakes up um, on this island, and he goes into town, and that's all he knows until uh, until he gets something to trade with the local shopkeeper for a um, magic map. And uh, I actually think it's his uh, his uh, ring, if I remember correctly, or hit. You use this ring and you trade. There's like four items, four different items that you use at various parts of the game, and one of them is the is the magic map. And then um, with the magic map, you um, you can travel to different parts, and it opens those up. But then there's a there's an actual fifth island, um, which doesn't show up until you complete some stuff. So um, my game is gonna sort of be like that in the fact that at the beginning um you're you're just gonna go to locations i don't know i haven't really decided if i'm gonna put some like some actual puzzle puzzles in it or um if you if it's just gonna be like some sort of interactive because uh basically the enchanted lands um the Magic Kingdom that's become a tourist resort is falling on hard times, and so schools are closed up, certain things are boarded up. Um, um, only, a, you know, only like one hotel is open, a few places to eat, you know, stuff like that. And so things have really changed, and you can't really do anything. It's not very fun there. And then um, halfway, well, eventually bring somebody in from our world and uh, in the meantime he gets summoned to the throne room which is essentially the uh, the uh, the business meeting room what do you call that boardroom it's the boardroom for enchanted lands um, with uh, with the king's throne at the head of the table of course the regular chairs around the, the rest of the table but um, so, so in this opening, I don't know, I've said it t tons of times before, and this is just, you're going to have to bear with me, I guess. Um, it's not like anybody's watching these videos anyway, so it's not like somebody's going to come back and go, Oh no, you took so long in talking, I, I just can't watch your videos anymore. They'll probably just watch the more exciting ones later on, and, you know, that where I'm actually doing stuff. But, in any case, um, that's weird. Um, in any case, so your opening scene here, so you'll get, you'll get a short period of time to kind of explore the, the kingdom for a little while, just so you can kind of get used to controls and maybe I'll have a little, you know, a few fetch quests, you know, the, you know, the kind where the NPCs go and they ask you that they need something or, you know. They've lost something, or you know, they they need to they need to acquire some some sort of dealie, and so you go out and get it for them, and then they give something to you, and then you get do something with that, and then that's the sort of thing the 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 quote unquote fetch quest where um you're just you know you're fetching something. So I might have a few of those like really simple simple kinds of deals like that, and then um. And then you get summoned to the throne room, and then um, you're forcibly ha halfway is forcibly ejected from the throne, from the castle, which is actually in the cloud. So um, I'm not sure what how I'm going to work all that, but um, there's going to be some dialogue. It's going to set up. Um, you don't know who Max is just yet, and um, you're going to notice the king acting strangely. I don't know how I'll portray that or how I get that across to you, but um, so that's the, the so okay to make a long story short, too long didn't read. Um, this is the the scene I'm going to try to create first off. It's a really simple scene. It'll be it'll be a throne room with the throne, but the there'll be a, a table. Um, 
a meeting table in front of the throne and then there'll be chairs around the table like a regular businessman's boardroom and but, but it'll be the throne room so it'll have i don't know a huge vaulted ceiling and you know stained glass windows and some cool stuff whatever whatever castles had i don't know whatever castles had in the throne room is going to be there and um then you'll have the, your principal characters you'll have uh, violet moonshadow which is um max's uh girl and she's she kind of uh she does some some dirty dirty deeds for for max and you have max himself and you have the king which will look kind of odd to halfway because he's not really the real king but it looks like the king and so um there will be that there might be a few guards to eject um ha halfway out of the castle and so that's basically all i'm going to do is i'm just going to have um so you're just going to have a throne room you're going to have a throne you're going to have a table with chairs around it you're going to have uh a couple of people sitting at the ta at the at the chairs and um and uh some of these characters and and so you have a basic dialogue i i'm not sure dialogue tree i guess and um i'll work out the actual logistics of the actual game adventure game stuff the actual you know user interface and all that stuff i'll work that out cuz you're going to have um it's going to be set up for um for a a one touch system or a, i should say a one one um like you can use a a mouse you use a single button on the mouse the left mouse button or or tap on a touch screen if you're doing a touch screen and i i don't know, know that i'll be going into the touch screen stuff um just right away but it's just the way it's designed it's designed so that um it, it whenever it gets input it, it's just one type of input so it's one click or it's one type or you know you hold down um you hold down on the screen or you hold down on the left mouse button or whatever um and uh, the pie menu will pop up and um so it'll have a pie menu um we'll have the the we'll have the dialogue tree thing where you can where the characters can talk to each other and You'll be able to walk around, move around, and um, it'll do the pathfinding because whatever system I use is going to already have the pathfinding in it. And so that's what brings me back to this. To this. Wait, this? I gotta remember that this it's opposite on my screen. I wonder if there's a way to do that. There's a way to like flip the flip the image but not um not the recording in other words it only flip it to me visually i wonder if there's a way to do that in obs just so i can you know anyways so um so right up here right here and whoop right there so that roll of ball okay Anyways, um, reset. Thanks for watching. Um, bearing with me again. I didn't have anything in the background. It's just you know the way it goes, I guess. And um, thanks for watching. And um, maybe I'll just go ahead and start on the rollerball tutorial here, because it's really fairly quick, and that's really what I need right now. So um, I will see you then.